All right. Let's see. So welcome to our morning of yoga. Good. We're gonna just find a chair here. Mm -hmm. So sometimes less is more in many things and many ways. So we're, not, we're gonna start with ujjayi breath. And ujjayi breath is that slight restriction of the back of your throat. It's almost like you feel your breath going in and out along the back of your throat. Like it's just gliding along the back of your throat. And today I want you to picture a, having a big blank canvas, big white canvas. And our ujjayi breath is gonna be the paintbrush. And throughout class, as we go through all our different poses, really want us to bring our awareness to our ujjayi breath. Yes, and as you breathe, it's almost like the breath is like a brush and it's just painting all these different colors on your canvas, right? And if you don't use the ujjayi breath, then the brush is not painting. So we wanna end class today with this big, beautiful, colorful canvas, having used our ujjayi breath throughout class, just something to, to play with. Right, so finding a nice tall spine, we'll practice a little bit. We'll take a couple cleansing breaths here. So we're gonna take a breath in and just let it go. Oh, good. And take a breath in and let it go. And maybe float your eyes closed. Another breath in. And let it go and relax the breath now. We're gonna to start to tap into that ujjayi breath. So the feeling in your throat as you exhale is you wanna fog up a mirror, but your lips are closed gently. So just practicing that. So breathing in through your nose and out. nice and slow and just practice slightly restricting your throat so that you can hear your breath so it sounds like an ocean wave so it sounds like wind through a thick grove of pine trees in the mountains but the breath is nice and slow and relaxed. And as we continue to take a few more breaths, we're gonna practice a mudra. So a mudra is those actions in our body that direct energy to certain parts of the body. So today with our ujjayi breath, we're gonna um, invoke the smile mudra. So just bringing a smile to your face as you're breathing in and out of your nose. Breathing as long and slow as is comfortable on your body. Smile mudra just brings all the energy to our upper body, our, our, in, our, in our head. And it also releases feel-good hormones in our brain. So no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, just practicing the smile mudra and ujjayi breath will get you through a lot. All right, and then you can either keep your eyes closed. We're gonna just start to slowly move our upper body, our neck. So flipping your palms up on your lap. When you flip your palms up, it also directs energy to the upper part of our body. It lifts our prana energy up. Yeah, good. And now take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, slowly turn your head over to the left. And breathe.
stretching as far as is comfortable on your body. Notice how your neck feels. Notice the stretch on that right side and left side of the neck. And on your next inhale, see if there's room for twisting just a little further over to the left. That ujjayi breath, that smile mudra still with you. And on your next exhale breath, slowly bring your head forward. Yeah. Take a breath in and out with your ujjayi. And on your next inhale breath with ujjayi breath, slowly turn your head over to the other side. So over to the right. Keeping the chin parallel, not tucking it or lifting it. Turning as much as you can. A nice stretch. Continuing your breath. Noticing what your mind is doing. That we're staying here for a little bit. On your next inhale breath, see if there's any room for you to move a little bit further over. Giving it your 100%. And then as you exhale, slowly bring your head straight back forward. Good. Relax the shoulders. And continuing on with our neck. So these six stretches, if you do these every day, I guarantee you will not have a stiff neck, stiff neck. Right, and your shoulders will get a little looser. Let's take a breath in. And as you exhale, let's drop your head over to the left. And then bringing your hand onto the top of your head. And relaxing the right shoulder. And feel free to even relax your right arm down. And find your breath. Notice the space, the crook of your left, el that, the left elbow. The part of space, the space element is all around us. You'll have your ujjayi breath with you, painting your canvas all different colors. Smile on the face. Drop your right arm, gently bring it back onto your thigh. <clears throat> on an inhale breath, slowly lift your hand up off your head. And very slowly lift your head back up and go your left hand onto your lap. And take another breath in and let it go. On the next inhale breath, drop your head over to the right now. Notice on this side how it feels. If you'd like, you can bring your right hand gently and float it onto the top of your head. And option two is to just relax the left shoulder and maybe even drop your left arm. And again, you can have the eyes open or softly open or close. Big, giant breath. And no matter how difficult things are getting, how uncomfortable they are, just up into that ujjayi breath. It's designed to relax you. Yeah. Slow your breath down. 
relax your central nervous system. Notice the stretch on the top of that left shoulder. Just noticing and noticing the space and that triangle inside your elbow on the right side. And that space just bleeding out into the room and into the whole house and into the whole universe. And on your next exhale breath, return your right hand onto your lap. Release your left hand or your right hand off your head and slowly bring the head back up and relax. Good. All right. And one more uh, uh, pose for our, our head and our neck. On an inhale breath, you're going to lift your chin up and just look up or if you have your eyes closed, just so you're lifting your chin, trying to keep the back of your neck fairly uh, elongated. We don't want to crunch it back down. And we're lifting that chin and we're breathing. Ujjayi breath. Little smile on the face. This might start to get a little challenging. Just stay with it. Deepen your breath. Opening the throat, the thyroid, the thymus gland. A deep breath, bathing our body with oxygen. You got this. And the next time you breathe out, slowly lower the chin all the way down to the chest. And relax. Chin to chest. Relax the shoulders. <clears throat> Doing some head circles now. On the inhale breath, roll your head over to the left and up. Finding that Ujjayi breath over to the right and forward. So just continue on at your own pace, slowly rolling the head. And be here for a little while. So if there's a spot that's really tight or sore, stop there. Take a breath or two right into that tightness. Each time you exhale, try to soften it a little and then continue on with your head circles. Nice and slow. Sending into every little nook and cranny of your neck and the top of your shoulders. Nice and slow. Notice your head moving through space. Notice your mind. Next time that the head comes forward, pause and slowly go the opposite direction. Again, nice and slow. And again, notice this side. How are you feeling? Again, if there's any tightness in any part of your neck, front or back or side, you can pause there and just take a few breaths into that tightness. So bring your awareness to that tightness. Yeah, and then continue on. And then the next time that your head rolls forward, go ahead and pause. Wiggle your toes and slowly bring the head back up. Yeah, and relax. So opening up this whole area here just helps us to feel better, right? <clears throat> helps us to be more alert. Good. 
All right, so we spent a little time there. So hopefully that was good. Hopefully you got a lot of brush strokes on your canvas with that Ujjayi breath. All right, now we're gonna cross our arms at our wrist. Doesn't matter which arm is on top and we're gonna interlace our fingers. So wrists are crossed, fingers are interlaced. Yeah, crossing your wrist doesn't feel good. You can just interlace your hands. Yeah, or cross here. So stretching your hands forward on an inhale breath, just bring your breath from your hands up your arms and into your shoulders. And as you exhale, shoulders, arms, hands. And inhale, hands, arms, shoulders. Smile on the face, Ujjayi breath. That's our theme today. Now keeping the arms here, but relaxing them. See if there's some space here to slowly lift your arms up just to where they're comfortable, to where you feel a little bit more of a stretch. Yeah, feel the waist lift up off the hips. Again, you don't have to go very high or you don't have to go up at all, depending on your shoulders. And when you land again, breathing in, hands, arms, shoulders, Breathing out, shoulders, arms, hands. Smile on the face. This one can be a little challenging. There's two more breaths here. When you're ready on your exhale breath, slowly start to lower the hands, gently unclasp your hands and just gracefully float them down to your lap. Good. And relax the shoulders. Ah, good. All right, relaxing your arms down alongside your body. On an inhale breath, float your arms out to either side. Good. And then we're gonna bring our arms forward and bring one arm on top of the other. It doesn't matter which, cross at above your elbows. See if you can come into eagle arms, bringing the tops of your hands together. If that's not working for you, you can stay with hands on your shoulders. Good. And breathe. Start your Ujjayi breath. Continue your Ujjayi breath. Good. And this time on an inhale breath, maybe you lift the elbows up a little higher. And exhale, keep the elbows where they are as you exhale. Yeah. Stretching the back of our shoulders. Big Ujjayi breath. Smile on the face. Maybe let's see if there's some space to lift the elbows up just a little higher. And then as you exhale, relax the arms. Slowly unwind your arms and bring your hands onto your lap. Yeah, and relax the shoulders. So either hands on the lap here or arms down alongside the body. Good. I'm gonna press down into your feet and on an inhale breath, reach your shoulders up and in and hold your breath. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Reach them up, up, up. And breathe out. Press into your feet on an inhale breath. Lift those shoulders up again. Hold your breath at the top. Hold just till it's comfortable. You can always release sooner than I am. And let go. And one more. Press into your feet, shoulders up and in. Hold the breath. Hold, hold, hold. And when you're ready, relax the shoulders. Good. And wiggle out the shoulders. Do some shoulder rolls here. We're almost done here with this whole upper body. 
Yeah, but hopefully you'll feel a lot more alert, expansive in the upper body. So just do some shoulder rolls, relaxing the shoulders and smile on the face. This was so much fun. Yes. And if you can, tend to tight shoulders and uh, um, neck. Yeah, just doing this should take you just about six minutes to do it, maybe less. Yeah. And reverse, going the opposite direction if you haven't done that already. Good. And then just shake out the hand. Good. Shake, shake, shake. And relax. Okay, scooting forward a little bit in our chairs. We're just going to do some cat cow and then we'll stand up and get the rest of the body going here. So hands on our thighs. Good. On an inhale breath, lift your chest, lift your chin, slide your hands up your thighs, reach your elbows back. Maybe even lean forward with your chest a little bit, opening up that front spine. And then as you exhale, just stretch your back gently to the back of the chair, drop your head. Good. And inhale, slide the hands up, reach the elbows back, look up. And exhale, round the back, drop the head. And one more. Sliding the hands up, reaching the elbows back, look up. And exhale, round the back. And slowly bring the body back up. Good, all right. And then bringing your hands together, one on top of the other. Just bring the backs of your hands between, right onto your forehead. All right, gently onto that third eye, which is right in the middle of your eyebrows. And close your eyes here for a second or two. Gently pressing your hands into your forehead. Just igniting that third eye, that intuition. Yeah. This is just seated child's pose, typically done with forehead on the floor, but this is our floor. And then exhale, relax the hands, float the hands back down onto your lap. You can open your eyes. And let's bring the legs out as wide as it's comfortable on your body today. And just find that heels right above the, right below the knees, so knees and heels in line. Good. Take a nice breath and lift your heart. And as you exhale, lean the body forward. Good. And press into the feet and inhale, come back up. And exhale, stretch your chest forward. Good. And then maybe over to the left or right. Just do circles, doesn't matter which way you go. Yeah. So opening up our hips here. Nice big circles with your upper body. What happened to the ujjayi breath? Are you still tapping into that? Painting your canvas, you want a bright, big, beautiful, colorful painting when we're done here to hang on your mental wall. <laughs> Good. And smile on the face too. And the next time that you come forward, pause and reverse opposite direction. Marrying that Ujjayi breath with your movement. And the next time you come forward, pause and slowly bring your body back up. And let's bring your toes in, heels in, toes in, heels in. Very good, and shake, shake, shake out the hands a little bit. And we're gonna make our way to standing. Feel free to remain in your chair. If you're just feeling like that today, always allow that for yourself and just follow along. Most everything we do, you can modify seated as well. We're gonna lean forward in our chair, press down into our feet, slowly make your way up. We've been seated there for a little while, so make it nice and slow and comfortable. We're gonna to meet to the back of our chair here. Good. 
All right, so scooting your chair forward or you can keep it in front of you. I'm just scooting mine over. Actually, you might want to need it. You might need it to have a uh, handy. Yeah. Ha, let's just arrive here. And let's just start to bounce up and down on our heels. Soft knees, doing these little bounces on our heels. Get the blood flow starting to pump all the way up to the top of our body, all the way up to our little digits. So heels up and down, and then start a little bit more effervescent maybe. Maybe you add your hands, shaking your hands. And then maybe you start to bring your arms out to either side. And then maybe you start to sort of move the legs around, shake the feet, and start to shake and move your whole body. But my teacher said that for anxiousness, anxiety, Put a timer on five minutes just shake because basically a lot of anxiety is too much built up prana that needs a place to go so just shaking it off yeah i did that the other day and i was like wow this really works yeah you can even have sound effects you can do or, or yell or do whatever you want just get as crazy as you can. Yes. So nobody can see you, so give it your all. Yeah. This is such a great way to get our stress and our tension and our mental agitation out of our body. Talk to yourself, say, let it out. Let out. I don't want to carry this anymore. Just let it go. Yeah. All right. So we, since we don't, we're not going to do this for five minutes, <laughs> but to do that, is really helpful. And then if you do do that for five minutes, then just find some place to lay down, either on the floor, or on a bed, or on a couch. Yeah. And let's slow it down. Ah. Good. How's that feel? Yeah. Let's take a breath in and let it go. All right. You might want to hang on to your chair here. So we're just going to walk on all sides of our feet. We're going to start by coming up onto our toes and just walk side to side on your toes. And you can hold on to your chair, but the back of your chair is right nearby. Yeah, good. Maybe a little forward and back. Just feeling the balls of your feet, helping with balance, right? Stability. Good. And then let's transfer to walking on our heels. So it's a little bit more challenging. Side to side. You can take a step or two forward, step or two back. Just feeling the heels of our feet. And then over to the outsides of your feet, side to side. It just gives that impression to our brain that we have this, our feet, all of our, our entire foot, both feet, are responsible for keeping us up. And then going into the inside, that might feel a little awkward and strange, but it's okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Good. And now full feet. And just march side to side, feeling your the whole bottom of your foot. Good. And come back to center. All right, shake it off. All right, we're going to come to feet a little bit wider apart. Good. We're gonna soften our knees, gonna put this bend in our knees. We're gonna do the breath of joy. Good. So on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach our arms up and look up to the ceiling. Open your arms into a Y, opening our heart, opening up our whole front body. And then as we exhale, we're gonna give ourselves a hug and drop our head. Just curl the upper body forward. And then again, one more on an inhale breath. We're going to reach up and out. Here, we're going to pause here for a few ujjayi breaths. And again, this might begin to get a little challenging. Just lifting our energy up, lifting our prana energy up. Smile on the face, even if you don't feel like it today. And 
notice what's going on on your ceiling today. How is your body feeling today? And on an exhale breath again, curl in. Give yourself a hug, drop your head. And one more time, we're gonna inhale and lift up. Breath of joy. Big breath in here. And now on an exhale breath, you're just gonna shift your hips back and you're just gonna let your arms gently fall forward. And you drop your head and your upper body just to wherever it lands. So you're just hanging like a rag doll. Yes, finding our breath, our Ujjayi breath. If this is feeling like too much on your back, you can either lift the body up a little bit or you can bring your hands onto your thighs. Just relax the body forward wherever it's comfortable. And here, maybe you just start to rock your arms side to side. Good. Relaxing the head, relaxing the arms. Unless you're holding on to your thighs, you can just stay there. Good. And then maybe shifting the body over to the right foot and rocking your arms side to side. It's just a little shift over to the right. And then slowly back to center. And slowly over the left leg. You'll see a little stretch in that left back hamstring. And then coming forward and relaxing. And either rolling up one vertebrae at a time, or you can bring your hands onto your thighs or your legs and walk your hands up. You're going to keep your head down until you come all the way up. And then once the head's up, shoulders up. Yes, good, ha, and relax. Nice, shake it out. All right, keep the legs where they are. So we're gonna do, we're doing our six different poses for our spine here. So that was the forward and the back bend, yeah. And now we'll come into my favorite, side to side twist, right? So we're gonna inhale to one side and ha, exhale to the other. In through the nose, up through the mouth, as loud and as effervescently as you can. Ha! This also helps us to get rid of tension, fear, anxiety, right? The body needs to physically let that stuff out. Ha! And especially as we get older, we get more quiet, more introverted, right? And we just build all that fear and anxiety up our body so let it go ha 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 opposite heel lifting ha 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 notice where you're high which side ha and slowly come back to center good and now we're going to reverse that we're gonna ha. exhale the breath to the other side all right so let's begin. Ha. 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 And if you can't figure out which side you were exhaling on, that's okay. Ha. Just let it out as loud as you can, as effervescently as you can. Ha. Smile on the face while you're doing it. Just be playful and relaxed and loose. Let go. Ha, we have nobody to please. We have nobody to try to, you know, whatever. Ha, impressed. That's what I was looking for. Ha, one more. Ha, and relax. Good, and shake it out. All right, let's bring our feet a little bit closer to um, hip distance apart. All right, so uh, let's come back. Maybe notice the body, how it's feeling now. Notice the, maybe some tingling in the body. <clears throat> All these practices are so beneficial, but yet so easy, right? So simple. Yeah, so keep it simple, sweetheart, right? Kiss, that's what my teacher always says. Give it a kiss. Keep it simple, sweetheart. All right, lateral stretch. So we're going to take our right arm, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Good. 
and simply just get tall on that right side, wherever it is. Again, if you have shoulder issues, your uh, elbow might be bent, right? So just take it to wherever it's comfortable for you. It could be here, and that's enough, right? So stretching as long as you can on that right side. Feel that whole right side. Find your ujjayi breath and your smile. That's all you have to do today. Whatever your body's doing, just breathe with ujjayi breath and smile. Yeah. Each time you inhale, maybe the fingers go up a little bit more. As you exhale, don't let the shoulder drop down. Keep it stretching long. Just getting as tall as we can here. Good. On the next inhale breath, maybe you reach up and over a little bit. Here, that left hand is alongside your thigh, giving you leverage. And breathe now into that whole right side of the body. Smile on the face. Breath in. Maybe tucking your tummy in to protect your back. Adding a little twist if you like. You can turn your head over to the right and maybe even up a little bit if your neck allows. You really uh, loosened up that neck today, so maybe it'll allow you today. And breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. Ujjayi breath. On an inhale breath, come straight back up, stretching that right arm a little taller. Nice and tall. And on your exhale breath, collapse the arm down. So just notice when we hold these poses, like we do, how it feels when you come out. You feel so expansive, right? And so we're probably a little, so just shake it out, shake out the hands. Good. So let's get even, we'll do the other side. On an inhale breath, lift that left arm up towards the sky. Good. And again, get as tall as you can. Gently press into your left foot to reach your left fingertips up as high as you can. Again, you might be in cactus pose here, palm is facing in. Find that breath, your ujjayi breath. Inhaling as you stretch up. Exhaling, don't allow the shoulder to relax down. Keep stretching long. Smile on the face. It's also a facelift. That one, we smile a lot. And then on an inhale breath, reach up and over. That left hand, the right hand can be on the outside of the right thigh. And you're breathing. And smiling. The belly back to that low back a little um, stability if you want to add a twist you can turn your head and look underneath that left arm find your breath so holding these poses longer also helps us with our stability right because we can easily say okay i'm just going to get out of this pose Sometimes it's a little challenging, but holding. Good. Good. And now on your next inhale breath, slowly bring that left arm straight back up again. Stretch up tall, a little bit taller, not overstretching though. And as you exhale, it also helps these muscles get stronger as we hold. And just release that arm out. Good. And you can roll your shoulders or shake your hands, even kick your feet a little bit. Very nice. All right. So here we may come to our, our the, we'll need the chair here. We're going to do a little balance pose it's here. All right. And relax. Okay. So, smile on the face. How's that canvas looking with all that ujjayi breath paintbrush? Hopefully, it's getting filled in with color. All right, coming to hip, feet hip distance apart with the right side. Doesn't matter, I guess, really what side of the chair you're on. Yeah, just so you're comfortable here. Good. And then engage both of your kneecaps, lift them up. 
as we do in, in um, mountain pose. Let's do mountain pose, right? Tuck your tailbone down, tuck your belly button back slightly, roll your shoulders gently back. Maybe you have one hand on the chair. Good, tuck your chin back slightly. Just be nice and tall with a lifted heart. Good. Then we're gonna rock the weight into the inside leg and let's bend the outside knee. Yes, this will be your right if you're on the same side I am. Good. And then lifting that knee up and just rocking it side to side. Almost as if you're making a figure eight in the air with your kneecap. So that standing leg is engaged, that standing glute, right? That left glute muscle is tight, giving us that stability, finding a spot to stare at, and just rocking that leg side to side. You can drop your toe down at any time and then re-pick it back up, yeah. Notice how this side feels. How does this hip feel? Good. A couple more. How's that ujjayi breath going? This is challenging. More the challenge, the more the fear, <clears throat> the bigger the breath. Okay, and relax. All right, and kick it out. So just notice how that felt. So again, while we're doing that, <clears throat> even if, if you just do a couple and this is getting fatigued, you stop for a second, right? and then pick it back up and do a couple more and stop for a second. It's a really nice way to, uh, to strengthen this hip flexor, right? Strengthen our, our glutes. Yeah. All right, and we can either, why don't we walk over to the other side? It's just easier to have the outside, like some space. Good. Right, so find that mountain pose, right? Lifting your kneecaps, tucking your tailbone, tucking your belly back. <clears throat> just relaxing, we know what's coming, get nice and tall. When we're scrunched over, that's when this becomes a real burden, a real challenge. When we lift the spine and get nice and tall, even as we're walking, be as tall as you can here. That will help to prevent falling, right? And that will be it's strengthening, it'll allow you to go further as we're using our whole body. All right, so rocking the weight into the inside leg, bending the outside knee. And also an option is to just draw the knee side to side here if lifting it is not feeling good on your body. I should have mentioned that on the other side. All right, so see if you can float the knee up on this side. And then just start your very gentle, yeah, figure eights. That's side to side. Nice big ujjayi breath here. Notice that there's a difference on either side. This side is a little more challenging for me, um, but not too bad. And you can make small little aids. You can take a break in between if this is getting to be too long. Take care of yourself. Right, it's about the journey, not the destination. Destination is for the ego. The journey is for the soul. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and relax that out, shake it out. Okay, so working on our <clears throat> fall prevention Tuesday, we're gonna do what's called the grapevine. You've done this before. We're gonna start at the back of our chair here. So it's fairly simple, but it's really good for that brain body connection and to take you a little bit off your center and practice that motion. So basically what we're gonna be doing is, um, you're gonna, you can hold onto your chair. I'm just gonna move my chair out of the way so you can see me, but you're, you can hold onto your chair pretty much the whole time. And basically we're gonna just step the right foot out just a little bit. Then we're gonna take the left foot behind and take a step and then come out to the, to the side. Yeah, yeah, sorry and then come back to center, good. And then we're gonna take the left foot out, cross back, step to the side, center. Up to the right, cross back, your whole foot is down behind you there, up to the side, and center. Step out, cross back, out, and center. Now this is such really good practice for you. 
You can, we'll do a few more. You can stay that same stance. If you wanna do a little bit more of a challenge, you can go a little bit quicker, right? About, slide back, up, center. This is making my camera go wonky. Center, up. That stepping back is that the part that's really good practice for us, yeah. And you can either be holding onto your chair, if you've been sort of holding onto your chair as throughout, you can maybe put your hands on your hips. And just, it reminds me of that line dancing. I should have some country western music playing. Right. Add one more. And I would say that's something to practice every day for you, but you know, we just don't tend to do that if we don't come to class. But if you think of it, do a little country western dance after you do your shaking before you lay down. <laughs> You'll be all set. Wiggle it out and shake it out. Roll the shoulders. All right. I think we're going to make our way down to our um, chairs or to our seat. Good. So let's come to the front of our seat. Good. And so just start there. Let's take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, start to send your hips back. Let's pause about halfway down. Good. Hands can be on your thighs. Lift your heart. Yeah. Just breathe here. So you're lifting your tailbone as if somebody has a string on your tailbone. Lifting your heart. Smiling on your face. And breathing with Ujjayi breath. And when you're ready on your next exhale breath, look down towards the floor and slowly grab onto your chair and just allow your hips to land on your chair. Good. And arrive. There we are. Good. All right. And good work, everyone. All right. Being a little bit forward in your chair here, just a little bit. I'm going to do a couple more nice squeezes and twist before we go into Shavasana. Good. All right, so we're gonna start with our right leg. We're gonna lean forward, clasp behind our right thigh. And we're gonna inhale and hug the thigh into your belly. Good. Relax your shoulders back. Most of you know the drill. If this is too much for you, don't bring your knee up as high or drop your toe to the floor, right? So wherever you are, Good, and then reaching those shoulders back. Good, let's do a couple rotations with the foot or you can just rock your heels side to side if your toe is on the floor. And then reverse other direction. All right, we're gonna hug a little bit here. So relax the foot, inhale, lift your chest, look up slightly, and on an exhale breath, start to reach your nose forward and then drop your head as if you wanna touch your nose to your knee but not quite making it there. Just relax your head forward and breathe. Hugging in and breathing. So we're squeezing out our, our intestines, our digestive tract here. Breathe for two and one and slowly lower that leg down. Lift the head up. Good, and relax. That's a really nice one to do on the floor if you're laying on the floor, is to hug your knees in to your chest. Both, you can do both at the same time, but sitting down, that would be awfully challenging, right? How do we do that even? <laughs> anyway, um, but hugging those knees in really gets into that digestive tract. Let's go to the other side. Clasp your hands behind your knee, and then hug that leg in. Again, if this feels like too much weight, or pressure on your upper body because you want to have your shoulders back here. We're not crunching forward. Shoulders are back. So you can lower the leg a little bit or you can have the toe on the floor too. Yeah. And let's do some love for our foot. Nice slow circles. And then reverse. Opposite direction. Again, you can do heel side to side of the toes on the floor. Good. And relax. And take a breath in. Lift your chest. Look up slightly. On an exhale breath, start to reach your nose forward and down. And just relax your head down as you're hugging your knee in. 
maybe even the forehead's looking to reach the knee. Maybe not, and breathe and squeeze. Here's where that Ujjayi breath is gonna come in handy. Big pain strokes here with that breath. On your next inhale breath, lift the head, start to float the leg down. Slowly make your way up. Well, that can be really challenging. Holding up the weight of the leg is challenging. Good. And shake it out. Flop the fingers around. It might feel nice to bring your arms next to the, your ribs here. Stretch your fingers wide and just wiggle your fingers. Yeah, get blood flow back in. Curl your fingers in and out. Just move your fingers wherever, however it feels comfortable, stretching them. Yeah, and shake them out one more time. Flop them around one more time. Good, and relax. And coming into our final pose here with a twist. So we're gonna be twisting over to the right. So you're gonna take your uh, right leg and you're gonna draw it over your left leg. Yeah, actually we're switching left leg over the right. Get a nice tall spine. Good, and take a nice big breath in. Bring your hand to the outside, outsides of your legs. Take a breath in. You can also be crossed here at your ankles. That's an option as well. Doesn't really matter in this twist. We're just going to, we get a little bit deeper twist with this leg over. So take a breath in, tall spine. Exhale, relax a little bit and slowly turn over to the left. Looking over the left shoulder. And let's take that ujjayi breath into the belly. As you breathe in, belly rise. As you breathe out, belly draws back and you twist a little more. Never over twisting, only take this to where it feels good on your spine. Zero pain, there should never be any sharp pain in anything we do. Big belly breath here. The belly is pushing out as you breathe in and it's drawing back as you breathe out. Did the smile leave their face? So maybe a little smile on the face, knowing that we're almost in Shavasana, but we were enjoying the journey. And that's for the soul, the journey. The next time you breathe out, relax and slowly bring your body back forward. Gently uncross the leg. Good. And we'll go over to the other side. So now crossing the opposite leg over and to the outside of that leg. Take a nice big breath. And again, you can be crossed here at your ankle too. And the hands are just there to help you to turn when we're going into our twist. A nice tall spine, breath in. As you exhale, relax and turn and twist over to the other side. Ooh, that feels particularly good on my body today. And breathe. Nice long, slow, deep breath here. This time you exhale, turn a little bit more. Breath is going into the belly as you breathe in and relaxing the belly back as you breathe out. And as you exhale, slowly relax the body, slowly bring the body back forward and uncross. Ah, nice work, everybody. Let's just take the legs and bop them out and in. Relaxing the hips before we go into Shavasana. Good. All right, and then relax. And then setting up for Shavasana now. So scooting all the way back into your chair. Feel free to lay down. And we'll close our eyes once you've landed in your chair. Make sure that you're comfortable and you have something to put on you if you're chilly. And just knowing all of this coming into just a really soft ujjayi breath here, just finishing off that beautiful canvas painting that you were doing all of class. Gentle little smile on your face. 
So let's take a nice big breath in and slowly breathe out with a big ujjayi exhale. And breathe in. And just a couple more breaths. Nice and slow. On your next exhale breath, just relax your body now. And for this next few minutes, we will just be here, relaxing. Sent a little smile on your face. Breath is relaxed. Bring your awareness to your environment. Temperature of the air around you. Temperature of the air on your skin. The sounds around you. Maybe little motors running. Traffic outside. Maybe even the sound of birds singing. and be in harmony with your environment. Let go of all of your efforts. Chant a little smile on the face. Relax.
Bring your awareness to your feet. And your legs. And your hips. And your belly. And your stomach. of your head forehead eyes and your smile Take a breath in and let it go. Another breath in and let it go. And slowly waking yourself up, wiggling your toes and fingers. Rocking the body side to side, and that gentle smile on the face. And coming back to center, come back to stillness. And just imagine that beautiful canvas and sitting in front of you, filled with every different color of the rainbow. Such a beautiful masterpiece, that Ujjayi breath canvas that you painted. Let's bring our hands into Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Rest your thumbs onto your heart and take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, bow your forehead, <clears throat> excuse me, to your fingertips. Relax your shoulders. And we'll close practice today with this. When angry, count 10 before you speak. If very angry, count a hundred. Thomas Jefferson. Hmm. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, you may gently begin to flutter the eyes open, let the light in slowly to lift your head and thank you all for coming and painting with me today. Hopefully you remember your Ujjayi breath throughout the course of your day, every day. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.